It's almost like a ghost town. That's the best way to describe it. But we have actually some breaking news to get to all of our viewers who are set to take the metro later on today, who had that in their plans. With me is Michael here, metro spokesperson. And Michael, let's let's talk about that. So metro electric lines have been canceled now. Yeah, we suspended service on the metro electric line about 15 minutes ago until further notice. We tried running trains this morning, but the first few trains encountered multiple problems with the overhead wires that power that line. Um, we just decided we can't afford it. We can't operate trains, so we've suspended service. And previously, we had seen reports that you had crews out there working on the tracks, right? So kind of what, is, what does that look like if you have crews out there? Well, we have crews out there for all our lines, uh, track inspectors, uh, signal maintainers, switch maintainers, and then on the Metro Electric line, maintainers for that overhead system. Um, they're working 12-hour shifts, 24-7 coverage to try and resolve problems as quickly as they can. Problem with the Metro Electric is there were just so many problems, and we the, the trains were threatening to damage the cables even more, so we suspended service. So when we're talking about the Metro Electric line, how many trains are we talking about? How many maybe people, if you can say that, have been affected or will be affected? Uh, yeah, it's hard to say how much what, what ridership was going to be today. Uh, I think typically that line handles about 10,000 passenger trips a day. Um, there would have been fewer than that today, and we were offering a slightly reduced schedule. Or we were trying to offer a slightly reduced schedule. It runs between M Millennium Station downtown and University Park. Okay. Um, and last question I have for you here, just to wrap this up a little bit. We have cancellations for today, for tomorrow as well, or we don't know that yet? Yes, for tomorrow we also are off, op operating the same reduced schedule for all our lines. Um, it's a schedule we adopted to minimize the number of times we have to use switches. They're very vulnerable in this extreme cold, and if we can avoid using them, then we can be a little more reliable. Perfect. Michael, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Guys, I do want to mention for those who are heading to the airports, O'Hare already has more than 1,000 flight cancellations. Midway is sitting at almost about 400 flights canceled. If you are heading out that way, make sure you check your flight status. We cannot stress that enough. There's nothing worse, really, than sitting at the airport for hours or getting to the airport and realizing that your flight has been canceled. Just be vigilant about that information. Keep your phone in your hand. If you have any alerts on your phone, again, just make sure you check your flight status. A lot of flights have been canceled. For now, though, I'm live in Union station this morning. Diana Gutierrez, The Jam.